show me. I'm the martial arts film freak, and I watched the 36th chamber of Shaolin. The 36th Chamber of Shaolin was released in 1978 and was directed by Lau Kar Lung and of course stars Gordon Liu. So immediately off the bat, we got two of the most legendary names in all of Hong Kong and martial arts cinema. The 36th Chamber tells the story of a young man played by Gordon Liu who uh, witnesses a bunch of acts of violence from this, uh, from this militia, this government uh, in his town, uh, killing people and, and hanging people up in the middle of the... Of the, of the uh, of the town square and uh he essentially just decides i'm going to uh teach i'm going to go to the shaolin temple and learn kung fu and then bring that kung fu back down and teach the villagers so that they can defend themselves um and also he's pretty much just seeking asylum because if he stays in the town he's gonna die you know it doesn't sound much like it but uh yeah, this was a rocky movie i know the plot you know just militia and killing villagers and I'm gonna go train and then come back and teach everybody kung fu and it doesn't sound like it but this was a rocky movie he literally spends you know the, like I'd say a good uh 75 maybe 80 percent of this movie training uh going through the different chambers um each chamber is really cool each chamber is different lessons it's very noise oriented there's constantly someone banging on a bell or clanking on wood and and it's very repetitive and it goes on for a long time, and you kind of wanted to stop, but it's fine. But yeah, it's like it, it, it's like a Rocky movie where, at least Rocky Four, where a majority of the movie is training montages, and then you get the fight scene at the very end. Except instead of training montages, uh, you actually do sort of understand the lessons that he's learning through uh, the different chambers, and, and it's cool how you end up actually getting to see how um, he utilizes those lessons within uh, the various fight scenes towards the end of the film. This movie also has one line, uh, one very specific line, that I would contend against almost any uh, philosophical Bruce Lee line, at least in Enter the Dragon. At one point, uh, one, of the, one of the chambers is essentially being able to get across this uh, little body of water by jumping onto a log and then jumping from that log back onto the other side. And uh, you know, everyone keeps falling and falling and falling and falling, and eventually, Gordon Liu says screw it and he tries to climb the wall that's directly next to this little body of water and he's gonna just gonna walk on the wall and he just gets pushed off and this monk says the most brilliant words the world is low, but Buddhism is high. now I'm not Buddhist but just in the, the, the delivery of the line goddamn that sounds really nice one problem I do have with sort of the story of the film is it is split up into two sort of, it, it's split up into two two stories to tell, and it is of course him seeing this militia, this this government, killing his friends, his neighbors, um, and him wanting to learn kung fu and teach the, teach the town. But once he's in the temple, it's a, it's a whole new story from this point. At, at originally he is not worthy of training and he has to like sort of he kind of has to build it up in his own heart and in his mind like i can do this i deserve to be here i have to be here i have people to help and then when he's finally in the temple you know him going along and learning and a vast majority of this movie is him learning and training and that is a story in itself the monks contending against him because he is sort of disobedient um and then once finally he is sort of of this higher self, then we get to continue that original story. My problem that I have with it is we spend a decent amount of time on that original story at the beginning, but once he gets to the temple, that is 70% of the film. And it spends so much time on that part that by the time we get to the end of the movie, there's almost no time left. 
by that point there's maybe 15 to 20 minutes left so we start getting these random character introductions they hit by the by the last 20 minutes they introduce about four characters to us and you know throw all of the fight scenes at us within this little bit of time and that's cool i love you know a good amount of fight scenes it just felt so rushed and and kind of non-organic in a way i think i'd compare it to something the way it, it shovels all the fight scenes at the end i would kind of compare it to maybe something like uh like like game of death i understand it's not a completed film and even the final five to ten minutes is not really completed but you get these three or four fight scenes at the end of game of death but they make sense he knows i have to go to this pagoda and on each level of the pagoda is going to be a different fight you know it's, it's a progression you don't get that with the end of this movie you just kind of get uh character introduction fight somebody character introduction fight somebody character introduction fight somebody and then we fight the final guy and the movie's over it just felt rushed and like it could have used some cleaning up a bit all of that being said it is awesome action uh you know gordon Liu is fantastic and he is I, I i need to look up who does uh who 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 constructs the majority of the choreography i know because lao car lung is involved probably a lot of it's him but you've also got gordon Liu, and you're also on the on the um shaw brothers lot so there's got to be people all over the place doing something but either way you're surrounded by incredibly creative artistic martial artists and um you know the fight scenes benefit for that my favorite is probably when he is still at the temple and uh, he is, uh, he's been there for like five years and he's about to get this like promotion essentially. And this monk speaks up and says he's not ready. And it kind of comes off like that monk is just being a dick. But um, after they fight and the monk beats Gordon Liu, Gordon Liu says, thank you, you're right, I'm not ready. And then they, like he kind of goes back and trains about two or three, four times. Uh, and every time fights this monk until he finally can beat him and gets the, and earns this promotion. And I, I don't know why I enjoyed that so much. Because each time they fought, something new happened. There was a progression in their actions. Uh, it's just really well done. And I ended up really actually enjoying that one monk character who I thought was being a dick. And I'm like, oh no, you're actually like one of the most helpful people within this entire story. In the end, I think I'm going to give the 36th Chamber of Shaolin uh, about uh, three and a half chambers out of five i do recognize it as one of the most legendary and uh, recognizable um shaw brothers and kung fu films of all time uh it's just those sort of those sort of problems i have with the last 20 minutes feeling incredibly rushed and and it's 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 not that like it's more than just the 20 minutes feel rushed is that this is this was the main part of this was the main drive of the story the reason we went to the temple was so that we could teach the town. But you completely forgot about teaching the town, and so you spent so much time on the temple that it feels like they thought, holy shit, we forgot to conclude this story. But the parts of the story that really worked, him within the temple, the different, different, I guess, chambers of him learning different lessons, and then, of course, that one, um, that one monk who said he's not ready, if he can beat me, he can earn his promotion. Like those parts of the story, I loved. I loved it. There's, it felt so nice. Something about the story, it, something that that part of the that of the story felt really good. Felt so fun to watch. Um, I guess it's just because it made kind of very nice, perfect sense. Uh, but yes, I enjoyed those parts. It's just my faults that brings it down to about a three point five. Uh, but I loved it. I had a lot of fun with it. I just had a couple problems with it. What did you think of the thirty sixth chamber of Shaolin? Tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. Head over to, head over to marshalljourner.com for uh, movie reviews, book reviews, TV reviews, uh, articles on all things martial arts. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good day.